get going. Your old pal Eddie Bull here at the exciting Walla Walla Washington Zoo. This week we're going to... Eddie Bull, he's got the boom. He really is incredible. He's simply the best of the bunch. There's simply no disguising, but he's so appetizing that we want him for a lunch. <laughs> I've got good taste, but that doesn't mean I taste good. <laughs> Can you figure out which animal just made me part of his complete nutritious breakfast? <laughs> okay, everybody, here's your first clue. It walks on four legs, but goes faster on two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second clue. All their babies are called Joey's, not just the boys. <laughs> Okay, they only live on one continent. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the last clue. This animal doesn't need to carry a purse when it goes to the hopping mall. <laughs> That's because it's the kangaroo. Ding, ding. <laughs> kangaroo. Okay, pull up, pull up. <laughs> Which means it walks but doesn't run. Its babies are called Joey's. It only lives in Australia, and it carries its babies in a pouch. <laughs> uh oh, I'm out of here. What? Eddie Bull, he's in the boom. He really is incredible. That we want him for a lunch. <laughs> Guys and Gaiets, super bizarro greetings from your great yet modest radio spirit, Jumpin' Johnny Jumble, or as we say here at Scramblin' Radio, Jumpin' Johnny Blend too. Because here at Scramblin' Radio, we mix them and you fix them. In other words, my name is really Jumpin' Johnny Jumble, and I'm here to play the hits, scramble up the words, and it's up to you guys to exactify the order of the letters I'm throwing out at you. So let's get this Titanic out of port and into an iceberg with today's hit. It's the Watt Dance with Draco. He pulls his basketball shorts all the way up to his neck. He buys the bugly sneakers that the coolest dudes reject. He's really Draco. He's Draco. He doesn't stand a chance. He's was some bad taste. Those were the Wadats with, you ready? Dorky! Commercial spot. And speaking of dorky, if you dorks and dorkettes are looking for the best place to pick up on super buys and unattractive clothing, follow the out-of-touch crowd down to Melvin's pre-owned Rare Dwoon. If you're short of cash and want to take a chance, try some pre-owned Rare Dwoon underneath your pants. Someone else has tried them and put them to the test. So buy some Someone else is messed. Yeah, can you dig it? Whether you're a jockey or a boxer guy, I'll see you down at Melvin's pre-owned underwear. Oh, baby. And now, fellow soulmates and soulmates, let's listen to the sweet sounds of Lanny Lost It with number three on the charts, Dipsut Snugs. I got no talent, but I write a new one every day. Really stinks. Yeah. And my lyrics. Oh, yeah. They don't rhyme. They I'm don't. riding dips of stocks. They bring me no luck. Dips of stocks. Every one of them sucks. Dips of stocks. They're really dogs. My dips of stocks. Yow, that was really bad. You know why? That was Lanny Lost It with Stupid Songs. Did you get that one, baby? 
Ah, it looks like they're rolling up the old floors at Scrambling Radio. So that means goodbye and gotta fly from Jumping Johnny on Belch. That's Jumble. Dig it. My name's Verity. I bust bad guys. You want to help? Come on in. We got four suspects pinned down. Three of them are guilty. Listen to their stories and spot the mistakes. The ones that lie did the crime. Today, we're interviewing the robber barons. Seems three of them knocked over a liquor store yesterday. Remember, only one of these mugs is telling the truth. The other three are lying. First up, Lois Carnegie. I can save you a lot of time, Verity. I'm the innocent one. Yesterday, I went to a costume party dressed as a cowgirl. I even wore a 10-gallon hat. You know, the ones that can hold 10 gallons of water? What do you think? Does a 10-gallon hat really hold that much water? Let's move on to Morgan Pike, AKA Morgan Applesauce. I haven't run with the other robber bearings in years. I've gone legit. Started up a quiet little business, buying and selling old coins and bills. I could get you a good deal on an old two-dollar bill if you're interested. A two-dollar bill? Do you buy it? Let's take a listen to Mitch Vanderbilt. Look, Verity, you've got the wrong guy. I was bird watching yesterday with my nephew. We saw gulls, geese, and guppies. Gulls, geese, and guppies. Are they all birds? Let's move on to Melon Ball Jones. He's just like I told the cop that arrested me. Uh, I wasn't even anywhere near that toll booth. Uh, I can't even drive in this country. Uh, I'm from France, and we drive on the other side of the road. I hope his driving's better than his accent. But which side do they really drive on in France? Well, just like I figured, each criminal all but confessed. Did you spot the mistakes? I wore a 10-gallon hat. You know, the ones that can hold 10 gallons of water? 
McConaughey's all washed up. Just like if she tried to put 10 gallons of water in that hat. A 10-gallon hat couldn't even hold one gallon of water. I went bird watching. We saw gulls, geese, and guppies. Vanderbilt's story is for the birds. A guppy is a fish, and not one of those flying ones either. I'm from France, and we drive on the other side of the road. Melon Paul knows his left from his right, but not his right from his wrong. In France, they drive on the same side of the road as we do. I could get you a good deal on an old $2 bill. The $2 bill's not nearly so phony as a $3 bill. So I guess you could say, I buy Morgan's story. Now that I put this case to bed, it's high time I did the same.